and welcome back to Just Another Stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. So, I've decided that I'm going to start doing a video on either a crochet or knitting topic once a week. Now, there will be some weeks it may not happen. You know, life gets in the way sometimes. And another thing too, on Tuesdays I usually do my Crochet Tuesday video. And on Fridays I usually do my Knitting, Friday, um, knitting Friday video. And sometimes I may not have done much crocheting or knitting where I feel like I don't have enough to really show y'all in a video. So whenever I have weeks like that, my intention now is I will try to do a, a video for y'all on a topic. You know, on my crochet day, it would be a crochet topic. On my knitting days, it would be a knitting topic. Um, that way y'all have something to watch crochet knitting related. And hopefully the videos help you. Um, so today we're going to be talking about helpful tips when it comes to amigurumi. And this is some really helpful information for those of y'all that want to learn how to do amigurumi. Because these are things you do need to know. Also, maybe you just started, you haven't been doing it that long. And some of your techniques need some tweaking or things you didn't quite realize. But this will help you. Because I know I really haven't been doing amigurumi that long. And my work needs improvement. Um, and these are some of the things I'm going to talk about or things that I need to work on. And also, even if you are an exper or experienced with amigurumi... Maybe something I mentioned is something you, you're not aware of. So let's get started on these tips. The first thing is typically with amigurumi, you start off with a magic circle. And this gives you the ability to cinch up the hole on it. Because if you notice right here, that part you got to sew, sew up at the end. And ideally you want that to look as clean as possible. And by doing the magic circle method instead of like doing a chain and then, you know, attaching your chain. Um, this makes it just easier and it looks cleaner. And another thing too, and this is very, very important. Use a smaller hook size than suggested on a yarn label. When it comes to amigurumi, you need tight stitches. And they recommend typically you go down at least one hook size. So, say a pattern calls for five, five millimeter, or I'm sorry, the, the yarn label says five millimeter. You want to go down to at least a four millimeter size hook, and maybe even more more than that. It, it kind of just depends on your tension, but that is very, very important. And I'm going to show you an example of my own work, what happens if you don't use a small enough hook or sometimes your tension too is an issue you see right here you see how it's holy but the good thing is it's at the bottom and I use my amigurumis for decor so nobody's going to see that and that's another important thing too certain little things learn how to disguise it um because like for instance with ch color changes there is a special technique 
that you you that that you can use to get that jogless scene. But if you don't use that 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 technique, you know, so, sometimes you can hide that in the back of your work where no one no one's going to see the back of your work um or at the bottom. Now, now if you, if it's for like a child, a stuffed animal, that then yeah, you you're going to see it more. So but that's where it's very important use the right hook you need tight stitches and also an amigurumi you're not going to join every round when you join it creates a line that's visible so you you do your rounds you're working continuously without the joins Another important thing, use stitch markers. Stitch markers are your best friend with amigurumi. In general, I am a firm believer of stitch markers, but the reason stitch markers are so important with amigurumi, you're working in the round. You need to mark the beginning of your rounds. So that way you don't you're going to get confused if you don't use stitch markers. Not a good idea. They're your best friend. Remember that. Another thing, too, it is very important to count your stitches. With amigurumi, you do a lot of increases and decreases. And when you get to the end of the row, you want to make sure your stitch count is correct. And another thing is, you want even increases and decreases. They need to be spaced out evenly. Now, if you're doing a pattern, patterns do it automatically for you. But say like you're doing your own thing, and that's why it's so important to make sure they're spaced properly. And one thing too, with the correct spacing, it makes your projects look more round and it just it looks better another thing and this is something i have never heard before and i'm curious if this is something that y'all do or if y'all have heard of this um let me know in the comments you can use pantyhose to keep the stuffing from po from poking out um it's not like a mandatory thing but it does give some extra protection because like I said, if your stitches are loose, your, your stuffing can kind of start poking out more. And, and another thing too you can do, you can use your leftover yarn ends for stuffing. Yes, it is ideal to use the polyfill, um, but maybe you don't have any or you, you know, you have scrap yarn that you want to find a use for. You can use that for your stuffing. And really, I, I, that's what I do. Um, like I said, this one poking out, you can see that's yarn in there. But that's a, a very excellent use for, for scrap yarn. And also, when you're stuffing, make sure you stuff evenly. Typically, you want more for like the feet, less for the, the legs. And you want, you want to use like a little at a time with the polyfill. You don't want to grab a big bunch. And you want to, you know, try to work your fingers, make it all even as much as possible. And that's one thing that even, you know, I, I still need to get down better is using the proper amount of stuffing. Um, another thing is you need to be consistent. You need to maintain your tension and your, your gauge. Like I said, you know, you want nice tight stitches, but you also don't want it where it's like too, too tight. Um, but tension and gauge are important. And also, when you make your, your decreases and increases, you want to use invisible decreases and increases. 
and there is a special technique for that and I'm gonna find a tutorial that I find on YouTube and I'm gonna link that in the description box for y'all um, also you want to use an, inv an invisible join for fastening off this keeps things even it helps with sewing pieces on your work seamlessly and also you're doing a lot of sewing pieces together with amigurumi you need to leave a long tail you need enough that you can sew your pieces together so always make sure you leave enough yarn for your tail usually I leave like too much but I feel like it's better to leave too much than not enough another thing too with amigurumi you're you typically a lot of times you have the faces that you're doing and they recommend using safety eyes another option too you can do crochet eyes like you see on my cat here um i i don't have any safety eyes I, that is something i need to invest in and even like the nose here there's little pieces you can get for noses i just embroidered my my nose for this one and a good source to find the safety eyes or like the little nose pieces is Amazon. They have different kits. You got, you know, different sizes. Like a, a lot of times the kits, you know, they'll they'll give you different sizes. And you got the different colors. So if you're looking for the safety eyes, Amazon is your source. But like when it comes to like the safety eyes, you want to make sure you find the placement for your eyes before you put the safety eyes on so it's usually recommended you know you use like tags or usually whenever I, I'm sewing pieces together and stuff or placement I use the the um the straight pins and mine has a little ball at the end of them that's what I tend to use but the, like I said, the placement is very important with safety eyes because once you place those safety eyes, it's gonna leave markings and it's gonna, you know, it, it's gonna kind of mess up the yarn and that indenti in, indention is gonna stay there. So you don't want that. So make sure before you attach them, you know exactly where you want to put them. Okay, another thing too is use the lines when it comes to like attaching, you know, safety eyes, nose or the arms or the legs where, you know, you follow the row of your stitches. And that's how you can, you know, make sure that everything's even and how it's supposed to look. You don't want your arms one side the arms up here on the other side it's down here um and another thing too you know you can also count your stitches that helps with the placement of where to put things you, you know you want that even even spacing okay the next thing i want to mention too i want to backtrack to the safety eyes when it comes to your eyes, safety eyes, there's, you know, if you have small children and stuff, you don't want to use buttons for eyes. You know, buttons are a safety hazard to children. Like on this one here, I have buttons on it for the eyes. But the thing is, is that, you know, I don't have any children. There's no small children coming around playing with my amigurumi so I don't have to worry about that but like I said with children be careful you know it's recommended safety eyes and the other thing too and I, I just kind of mentioned this um when it comes to sewing pieces on pieces on your work you're gonna need safety pins to help put the placement where you want things so make sure you have some safety pins well, I use straight the straight needles, but you need something to attach it. 
So that's the tips that I have for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoy this video and I hope this helps y'all on y'all amigurumi journal. Uh, I'm sorry, amigurumi journey. I'm getting tongue tied there. But anyway, I hope y'all are all having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light and bye.